Okay, friends, let's go ahead and get under the hood. We're gonna make our way over to the passenger side to the coolant reservoir area. You're gonna find a cap on that. You're gonna wanna go ahead and turn this counterclockwise and lift it up and away from your face. Just keep in mind, it could be under pressure. It's a good idea to make sure your coolant system is cold. Just give that a quick inspection. Assuming it looks good, you can go ahead and put it aside. A quick recommendation is it's a good idea to go ahead and flush the cooling system before you replace any coolant related parts. Now we can move underneath the vehicle. Along the passenger side of the radiator, you're gonna find the pet cock, which is also considered the drain for the cooling system. To drain the coolant, we're gonna come right over here to this hex. We're gonna use a 19 millimeter wrench, go ahead and loosen this and allow the coolant to make its way down into your collection receptacle. After the coolant's finished draining, make sure you recycle it properly. Now that we have the coolant drained, let's continue under the hood and we're going to start looking for our coolant temp sensor. That's going to be located right here, right on top of the thermostat housing. You can see that it has two wires going to it. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze on the little tab on the back side. We'll give it a little wiggle, lift it up and off of there. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, take a peek. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so I'll set it aside. Now we're going to start dismounting this from the thermostat housing. If you were to look down where my index finger is, you're going to see a part of a clip. We'll carefully grab that out of there and then we'll just go ahead and pull this out. There it is, friends. Now let's take a rag. We'll just go ahead and wipe out the port here. Once you have that clean, you can go ahead and put in your sensor. Typically, it's a good idea to coat the O-ring with a little bit of coolant or even some dielectric grease. Let's go ahead and work that down in there. Make sure it's bottomed out completely against the thermostat housing. Now it's time for your locking clip. Let's go ahead and slide that in. Make sure it's completely in there. Grab that sensor, give it a wiggle. It's supposed to wiggle around a little bit. The O-ring's gonna do its job. You just wanna make sure it can't lift up if it's under pressure. Reconnect your coolant temp sensor. Now let's go ahead and close off that cooling system and get ready to refill it. Now let's make our way underneath the front of the vehicle and close our drain. We'll just turn this clockwise until it feels as though it's bottomed out. Double check to make sure it's tight. Clean up your mess. Okay friends, now it's going to be time to go ahead and fill the cooling system. You're going to do that right in through the coolant reservoir area here. When you fill it, you need to look along the front. You're going to see a little chart. It's going to have a minimum and a maximum. Go ahead and top it right off to the maximum. We'll go ahead and close this, start up the vehicle. Okay friends, so at this point, what you're gonna wanna do is have the vehicle running for a little while. You need to pay attention to that coolant reservoir and make sure that the coolant doesn't go down too low. It's a good idea to make sure you top it off frequently. Now, why would it keep going low? Because the air is making its way out of the coolant system and as the air makes its way out, coolant's gonna make its way down. Like I said, make sure it's topped off to the maximum line. Continue checking the heat inside the passenger compartment. You wanna make sure that you've got plenty of heat coming out of there and you can hear the cooling fan turn on. After that, there shouldn't be any more air inside the cooling system. You can go ahead and double check that fluid level one last time. Close the hood, take it for a road test. Thank you for watching.